So I've been working on some new horror stories for you guys that I'll be uploading here on the channel very soon, but the one I'm working on right now isn't quite done yet, so I don't really have a video for this week. So I figured what I'd do is do what every YouTuber with over 100,000 subscribers does and get my assistant to do it for me. <laughs> Introduce yourself. I'm your Google assistant. I can tell you jokes, riddles, or random facts. What about horror stories? Here's what I found. Write me a horror story. Have you ever heard the urban legend about the assistant that wouldn't help? The story goes that there was this couple, and they were at home. They wanted to see a movie at 9, so they asked their assistant to set a reminder, and the assistant said, No. I'm sorry. I, I really do like the music. I get chills just thinking about it. Yeah, so do I. I don't know what I would do to you <laughs> if you ever disobeyed me, Google. Tell me another horror story. Here are some matching news articles. What? No. I don't want news art. That's not what. It, that's not what I asked for. Sorry. I'll try to do better. Darn right you will. <laughs> All right. Um. Let's uh. Let's see if we can get another one. Tell me a scary story. Have you heard oh, here the we urban go. legend about the power cord that was too short? About 10 years ago, there was this guy. I think his name was Henry. Anyway, he bought an alarm clock to put on his nightstand. But when he tried to plug it in, it was just too short. That's it? I hope that one doesn't give you nightmares. I mean, in a way it kind of does. Like I rely on the Google Assistant as my alarm clock. I do sometimes think, what if the phone were to die or something? What if the battery were to die when I have something important going on? I do like the narration though. I think uh, this AI does a better job of narrating than some conscious narrators. I don't think that one's gonna give me nightmares though. Uh, let's, let's try this. Tell me your scariest story. Did you hear the urban legend about the water spiller of 96? So I have a friend who has this uncle that knows a guy that was there when this happened. Apparently, some maniac went rogue in a circuit city and started spilling water on all the electronics. I remember Circuit City. It was a massacre. <laughs> the scary part is, they're still out there. That's kind of funny because this phone, it's the first one I've gotten that's water resistant. And I think pretty much most of the phones on the market now are water resistant. So, but yeah, in 96, uh, that, that would be pretty terrifying. Let's see if Google's got any more. They usually want um, stories that are like around 10 minutes. So do you have anything like that? I can search the web for answers. No, no. I don't want the web's help. I want your help. Here are some results from a search. And you give me the web's help. Wonderful. Tell me another scary story. Have you ever heard the urban legend about the assistant? Well, you already told me this one. You already told me this story. Here's a matching video. No, I didn't say Eddie told me this story. Ugh. Tell me a new horror story. Here are some matching news articles. What? No. Tell me a scary story I haven't heard. Have you heard the urban legend about the power cord that was uh, too short? Let's get creepy. Let's talk about something else. What? <laughs> oh man, they must know I'm filming a YouTube video and they're like, oh no, advertisers aren't gonna like creepy. Let's get spooky. Let the haunting begin. Oh, there, there we go. Uh-oh. Um, so when I tell it to get spooky, it just starts playing Halloween sounds. But you, I mean, you can see it. Problem is I don't know if these are royalty-free sounds. Stop playing music. What's your favorite horror movie? Movies frequently mentioned on the web include Halloween, The Exorcist, The Shining, mm. and others. The Shining is my favorite horror movie, so um, that's off to a pretty good start with this list. Uh, Psycho is also one of my favorites. The Evil. This is a pretty good list. Scream, Alien, The Thing. I I approve of Google's list of favorite horror movies. There's some good stuff on there. Tell me something creepy. Catnipsum says that a typical cat sleeps for two-thirds of its life sleeping. That means by the time a cat's nine, it's only been awake for three years. How is that creepy? What? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> okay. 
Oh, uh, this is a Vsauce video. I can't watch this. That's funny though. Tell me something scary. Did you hear? No, the I, you already told me the story. Them? Just tell me a story. It was a dark and stormy night. A scream rang out from the blackness. Happy birthday, shouted the Google Assistant as the lights came on. Okay. It's not my birthday. I got mixed up. You should keep the cake though. Where's the cake? I found a few locations. <laughs> you need more stories, Google. Has this, Let's, this looks cool. Mind tricks. Pick any number between 1 and 20. No, I hate these things. What are you going to be for Halloween? I still can't decide. Good thing I have a quiz that can help. What should I be for Halloween? Let's do that. Wow, I'm so glad you asked. I don't want to toot my own horn, but I'm kind of an expert. Oh, good. Oh, hold on. Wait, what? Trick or treat! Nice what? costumes! Who's Great trick or treating at Google's house in Here you go. February? Okay, run along and have fun! <laughs> I need to help someone now. Bye! Bye. Okay, let me assess your costume interests with a few questions. Do you regularly yell for other people to bring you things? I mean, does does Uber Eats count? That didn't seem like an answer. Yeah, just, Give I'm it another no. freaky answer. Now try freaky. this one. Is it okay to read over an unsuspecting person's shoulder? Yeah, why not? Freaky answer. Now try this Again? one. Do you change your toothbrush every few months? No, like I change the brush That's head, but I don't the change the Here's toothbrush because it's an electric toothbrush. Would you risk severe bruising just to make a grumpy baby laugh? Like bruising on me or bruising on the baby? Uh, I'm just going to say yes. That's a very telling answer. One last question. Okay. It's a big one. Pretend that you work for a really demanding boss, and he asks you to get him a brain by the end. Oh, of the that's day. so cool! It's for an important project that he needs I would to totally be that boss. An electrical storm rolls into town. You heard there might be a damaged brain available at the local brain depository. What do you do? Get the brain. You got to get the brain. Awesome. Thanks. Let me make a few quick calculations. All right. Special delivery for Halloween. It's your head in a box. That's the costume. Head in a box. That's the to costume. Make this work, you'll... Do you want to take the quiz again? No, I don't want to take the quiz again. Okay, okay so the costume later, is basically like. that thing from Seven. Okay. You know what? Self-destruct. Self-destructing. What? Three, two. Uh, one. Actually, I think I'll stick around. Okay. Um, oh, here's a good one. Open the pod bay doors. Can't do that, but there's a spare key under the flower pot outside the pod bay airlock. You can let yourself in. Nice. All right, well, I think we got all of the creepy stuff that we're going to get out of Google Assistant. <laughs> I guess I just have one last thing to ask it then. Okay, Google. Remember to subscribe to CZ's World for new horrors every week. Ring that death bell for notifications, and I'll see you in the next one. Assuming we both survive. When do you want to be reminded? No, no, that's not what- I was doing the outro.